You know, too many movies like Age of the Hobbits, Transmorphers, and Snakes on a Train try too hard to capitalize off of the success of another film while simultaneously trying to distance their plot from said blockbuster. Why go through all that work when you can just lift a camera from your local college multimedia center and remake the entire movie yourself? This 1991 shot on shittio remake of The Terminator was directed by a guy named Ben Hernandez. In case you already didn't know the backstory of The Terminator, it's okay. They tell you again, but without all of those skulls and flying future ships getting in the way. Wait, who's this? Could it be Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, no, it's just Monty Teo. That is most certainly not close enough. It's funny, too, how you have to be sent through time butt-ass naked without any weapons. That is, of course, unless you want to take your trusty banana hammock with you on the trip. It's Kyle Reese's turn to come back through time, only they didn't let him come back with a European casual pouch. No, no. They sent him back with something way more offensive. That dirty fucking mullet. Better that than this guy's swastika shirt. Don't tell me. It must be laundry day. Fuck you, asshole! The Terminator gets stabbed with a prop knife, then punches the guy through the hole that he conveniently already has on his shirt. Well, looks like he's not gonna be needing this baked potato anytime soon. I got him! I got him! Ah! Damn. Okay, well, remind me never to make fun of this guy's mullet again. What's the day? Tuesday, August 15th, the year! Huh? Back at the crime scene, the pickup truck police are way on top of this. Plus, Paul Winfield does a fantastic Chow Yun Fat impression. Why is that guy's butt naked? Meanwhile, the Terminator has his priorities. He's gotta go into a Target Masters to get his From My Cold Robot Hands bumper sticker. Wow, sounds like there was a hell of an action sequence going on in there. Good thing they didn't show us. Oh, right, he's got to search for Sarah Connor. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about the plot. Sarah Lee, what the fuck is going on here? Forget Sarah Lee, it's too late for her! We need to protect the Colonel! Turns out Kyle Reese has actually come back in time to protect Sarah from Jeffrey Dahmer here. Have you thought about what I said? Yeah. And Rich, I'm not ready for a commitment. I wish we can just be friends. Friends, huh? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, well, good thing Kyle just happened to be there. Come with me if you want to live. Got to admit, I really like this guy. Punching through a window, by the way, is very easy when it's already cracked. I'm Reese. I'm here to protect you. You've been targeted for termination. It is very important that you live. Can you stop it? These weapons. And with this camera and this sound equipment and our acting abilities, I just don't know. The movie thankfully cuts through all that boring stuff like the car chase and the shootout with the Terminator and gets right to Kyle Reese being arrested. I like how even though a majority of the action scenes were cut out, the Terminator still has his eye injured. Huh. That was actually a better effect than when they did that in the Terminator. Props. Even the effects on his arm don't look half bad. Shot on Shidio! Constantly proving that even their effects are better than today's CGI. And since, God forbid, this version leave any exposition on the cutting room floor, here's some more. Something about the field generator. Nothing dead will go. You just don't understand you're gonna rip our fucking heart out! Let this guy be the psychiatrist. He seems to know what's going on. Get all your words out of the way quick. Terminator will be here any minute. Freeze! Ooh, Reese was right. 1991 weapons are terrible. I think this is the point where the director demanded more blood because, well... Ah! Tell me about my son. 
He's about my height. Has your eyes. You would trust him? I would die for John Lee. I came across time for you, Sarah. I love you, Sarah. I always have. Ah, uh, yes. Thankfully, the Terminator shows up to stop them from performing what could have been the worst shot on Shidio love scene ever. And since they don't have access to a semi truck or roads, I guess this stairwell will work well for the climax. Shit, we might want to cut. I think he might actually be hurt. Hey, where did you get that? Grace is not gonna light! Oh. Hasta la vista, baby! Okay, normally I should get mad that they're quoting Terminator 2 in a remake of The Terminator, but at least they didn't have him quote Terminator 3 by saying, talk to the hand. Clearly, this version is far superior. It has a happy ending, with Kyle Reese surviving. They should call you the Terminator. I don't really know what happened to many of the cast and crew of the 1991 remake of The Terminator. All I know is that I never know what in the hell I'm gonna find when I check my email. Still, these kids did, with a little free time and a few actors, what Bruno Mattei did for 30 years, giving us cliff note versions of classic American action movie cinema. If I take away any lesson from this, it's that just because you can remake one of your favorite movies from the 80s with a VHS camcorder, <laughs> It means you should. It means you really, really should. 